know, one of the um, stories you talked about was of the Native American being over 10 million at one point now to less than a million. When the European invader came here in the late 1490s, there were 112 million of us in this Republic of the United States. It's not a country, it's a republic. And in less than 500 years, through genocidal practices, through the introduction of diseases that we had no immunity to, and other evil things that he brought with him, arrogance and greed, our numbers went from 112 million to less than a million by 1930. How do you kill off 111 million great people, loving people, people that are willing to share whatever they have regardless of how small it is or how much they got. How do you do that? That's a genocide you don't hear in the history books. Absolutely, and, and another form of genocide that they practiced on us was paper, paper genocide. There was a Dr. Arthur Plecker in Virginia cold-blooded races through taking a baby, an Indian baby, and instead of putting Indian or tribal name on that birth certificate, he would put mulatto or other. So many people walking around even today as we speak, 2017 don't know who they are because at birth their identity was destroyed through Dr. Arthur Plecker, the father of eugenics, who became the director of vital statistics during this time for the state of Virginia. Now, one of the another thing that they teach in the history book was the whole Thanksgiving, the meeting. <laughs> but you know, we talked about that and, and I wanted people to know the truth about that. It was actually, yeah, if you want to talk about uh, how Thanksgiving about came, about uh, came about. I do want to talk about it. First of all, you got to remember, my dear brother, that history, his story, his. is not our story. When they proclaim Thanksgiving, It was in Mystic, Connecticut, a tribe of Indian people, the Pequots, that were thriving and surviving. But shortly after, we taught these white people how to farm and how to take care of the land and raise food, they got beside themselves. A few years after they started prospering, they decided that they were going to take their women and their children out to a big field and have a cookout celebration. No Indians brought deer. There was never a Thanksgiving dinner with them, according to what they say. Not true. The celebration of Thanksgiving was the men walked off from their families and went further north into Mystic, Connecticut, and he murdered these Pequot Indian children, elders, women, and men. Got them in the enclosure of their habitat. They had built forts, per se. But that was only for the protection of their people. And they trapped them in where they couldn't get out. And they set it on fire. And they burned them to death. Then they came back. They were so thankful that they had killed these Indians. But that was the first Thanksgiving. Not what you read about in their books. Yeah. 
it wasn't until uh, when President Lincoln decided, instead of having it every other day when they were going to different tribes killing them, that he decided to make it once a year, a day of Thanksgiving once a year. True. But let me tell you about President Lincoln. Because Indians, the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota Indians wouldn't give up. These are the people from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, up in that area. Would not give up. They were fighting, and they captured in excess of 200 of them. And they wanted to hang them all. But Lincoln intervened because of uh, politics, should I say politics. And he said, no, I don't want you to hang them all. Pick 38 of them. And that's how they came up with the Mankato 38. That was the largest mass hanging ever in this country, this republic.